it's happy hour. So what better way to celebrate happy hour with a bottle? Not a bottle of wine, a bottle of frozen water. So today I'm gonna to review foot health. I had a special request for people with foot pain but not plantar fasciitis, but we're gonna go over the entire foot. So you may not see my upper body, but you'll see what's most important, which is the feet. So when you're working with a tennis ball, you want to make sure you roll multiple directions. I am rolling with fiber and I'm rolling the inside of my arch, the middle of my arch and the outside of the arch. This isn't just for people with plantar fasciitis. This is amazing to keep foot flexibility. And if you have um, some issues with your feet, like a neuroma or a bunion, you want to get in there and work the connective tissue in that area. Then you want to do some cross fiber work at the heel, in the arch, behind the big toe. Then do compression work. Compression work will feel completely different than the rolling. Then add a little inside and outside compression work. Change your foot positioning from in to out. Make sure you're covering the entire bottom of the foot. Press on the heel and then press on the ball of your foot. Focus on checking your ankle mobility. Do you roll out and in equally on both foot? All those things are important. And then always finish with a spreaded toe flush of the foot. Now watch, I'm gonna bring my little lovely wine bottle and do the same kind of rolling. Oh my goodness, you can feel that ice immediately so inside outside you wouldn't do the compressions but the rolling's fantastic and then roll the tops of the feet like you're rolling dough spread your toes and roll all the way to the ends of your toes what that will do is provide cool relief to the end of the feet and we have so much going on with our feet the ends of our body connections do the top arch of the foot. You can go along the outside. You can go along the inside. Oh my, I just want to stay right here. That feels so good. Even just a held compression on the toes. Please write me once you do this. You will be amazed how great this feels in the foot. And then don't forget to do flexibility work with the feet. Here is a great exercise to do with the foot. On all fours, press the toe under, roll pinky to big toe, and see if your toes will bend. You can do this in a chair, of course I'm on the floor, and that's a very important stretch for the front arch of the foot and the break at the ankle. Then take your toes, press them down, and press your knee forward, so you're actually trying to bend your toes as much as possible. If we don't train our feet to work full range of motion, they won't go there when you ask them to. A higher susceptibility of injuries. So make sure flexibility is a key component of your feet along with strength, which you wanna do as well. Then once you're here, take your tennis ball, go from the break of the ankle bone and the heel bone and press it to the big toe. You're gonna notice I'm only working one foot or else I'll be here for 20 minutes with you. So all the way to the knuckle of the big toe, right in there. If you have a spot that's sensitive, go ahead and hold it there. Then we're gonna do another compression. All I want you to do is hold your foot on the side. So now the ball is sitting on the arch of the foot. This is a side approach. You can roll, you can do a little bit of compression with the top hand and just rest it there. Our arches have a tendency to change as we age. So it's important to keep manipulating and working the arch of the foot. Take another deep breath in right here because I can feel that. Give it a little cross fiber and then don't forget to focus on the outer part of the foot as well. You want to get between the heel bone and the, and the ankle bone on the back of the foot closer to the Achilles. Do all kinds of rolling on the outside of the foot as well. All of these techniques will help to reduce stress in the feet. And then the last one will be the rotation work on the foot. Feel like you're squeezing orange juice 
Start at the big toe and work your way out to the pinky. Today, when we were all foot focused, remember to fill up a wine bottle three quarters of the way. Not only is it great for the feet, but you can roll it on your glutes, lower back, upper back when you're tender, that's for another day. So here we are, just rolling in and rolling out. Always make sure you go both directions. And then finish, always finish with a little flush. I hope that helps you with all of your foot stress. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time.